you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 25th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 12 ask and it will be given you search and you will find knock and the door will be opened for you for everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds and for everyone who knocks the door will be opened is there anyone among you who if your child asks for bread will give you a stone or if the child asks for a fish will give you a snake if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him in everything do to others as you would have them do to you for this is the law of the prophets the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends in today's gospel jesus teaches his disciples to pray with the confidence and the humility because the heavenly father is in in his goodness always answers prayers to pray with confidence and humility is what he recommends confident because we know that god hears us and wants only the best for us it is humble because we are convinced that everything depends on his grace and actions somebody said that in fact even our desire to approach god in prayer springs from his grace at work in our hearts if this is true then why do we fail to persevere in prayer perhaps deep down we are not really convinced of the effectiveness and the power of prayer or maybe we believe that we can accomplish everything through our own efforts and actions our loving father never refuses our mocks of prayers he graciously gives beyond our expectation but our heavenly father lis- listens and answers all our prayers not in the way we see it he answers our prayers in his way with wisdom and love in his terms on his uh, timeline and knowing what is really best for us we are challenged to ask to seek and to knock unceasingly motivated by our faith in the father's goodness and attentiveness to our true and lasting needs we pray because we find ourselves so faultly so much in need of grace so burdened that we can sometimes only move away and ask god for help we pray and ask god to grant our needs it is because the lord's prayer itself also includes the petition give us today our daily bread that's why when we pray our needs we prefer to dictate the topic of our prayer for we are unique individuals with the particular needs for health courage endurance peace of soul and forgiveness somebody said that the prayer of petition has a special place especially at this time when we some we seem overwhelmed by the materialism all around us we are often confronted with the host of needs those of our own and those of our friends and relatives these prayers of petition may be communal or private petitions which carry us through to deeper levels of spiritual growth and jesus encourages us to be persistent and persevering in prayer every day yes there are specified particular parts for formal prayer like sunday masses schedules morning prayer evening prayer and others but we are called to pray at all times through a prevailing atmosphere of prayer amen may god bless us